guys, thanks so much for watching. It's Dahlia from Helpful Idea. I am here to do the spoiler tag. Uh, AJ from AJ Dunn Reads and Writes tagged me in this video. So thank you so much for tagging me. I'm very excited to do it with the tag. Let's get started with the tag video. Okay, so I had to write down all of the questions in a notebook because uh, I use my phone for filming. So let's get started with the first question and it is, what do you consider a spoiler? Anything that spoils or ruins a book. I think that's a simple answer. I feel like a spoiler is anything that would ruin a book. So that's a spoiler. That's what I think a spoiler is. The second question is, does the genre you're reading impact what you consider to be a spoiler? Absolutely. I think 100% the genre I'm reading does impact whether or not I consider something to be a spoiler. So in my opinion, a lot of books are unspoilable in a lot of genres like literary fiction it's very difficult for the most part I think to spoil a literary fiction novel like the value and the experience of the novel does not hinge so much on the plot points more so the writing and the characters and like the insights and the various um, you know setting and, and things like that those are kind of what propel a lot of novels that I read it tends to be more writing focused um, more internal, more uh, contemplative ki kinds of books as opposed to novels that typically would be impacted by a spoiler. So for me, like when I think of any kind of thriller or psychological thriller type of novel, um, anything kind of like horror or uh, mostly genre fiction, I guess. I think a lot of genre fiction is probably more susceptible to being spoiled from uh, spoilers rather than the novels I read which is more about the journey and more about the actual reading experience as opposed to any particular plot point. The next question is do I research a book prior to reading them or do you prefer to know nothing? So um, I don't I typically know the premise of a book before I, I read it or I'll know something about a book before I read it. I don't do any heavy research. I just mostly go off of recommendations and people on booktube and goodreads and blah 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 and uh, from you know the, those various sources I'll have a sense of the book but I usually don't try to know too much before going into a novel just because I think it's nice to know less. Um, that's at least my view. Okay, so the fourth question is, sometimes an introduction or translator's notes spoil the book. Has this ever happened to me? Uh, no, it's not. Can't say that it has. It's never happened to me. And then the fifth question is a time somebody spoiled a novel for you. Um, I don't think that's happened to me either. I'm sorry to say, or at least I'm happy to say no one spoiled a novel for me. And then a time I spoiled a book for someone else. Maybe if anyone's watched my videos and I accidentally reveal too much, because sometimes I do when I summarize novels in my like wrap ups. So that's possible. Number seven is, if spoilers ruin novels, are there some authors or genres you can't reread? So I would say in terms of rereading, I don't do a lot of rereading because there are so many books that I want to read as is, but I, probably wouldn't reread any like thriller novel that I've read or yeah like any thriller or any book that's like way too plotty probably wouldn't reread just because you know with those types of books like I said they really do hinge on the plot so when you know the plot or you 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 know you know the big reveal or the twist or the turn or whatever it is uh, there's not that much more to know because the suspense, you know, relies on that plot point. And once you know it, that's the story, right? Thrillers, I probably wouldn't reread. Uh, I don't read them a lot just in general, but I do find that they are very much dependent on, you know, this the plot of the novel. So like I said, once you know the plot, it's kind of like, why is there a need to reread it unless the writing or the characters or whatever are really outstanding in that case uh that's that's why i would reread a novel but but yeah i do think that certain genres i 
like thrillers or horror fiction or, or maybe genre fiction in general, like probably not up there for me on rereadability, right? I think. Last question is when reviewing, um, are you spoiler free and does this limit your ability, ability to discuss? I think I try to be spoiler free, but sometimes I kind of do um, maybe run the risk of letting too much of the plot out just because I want to discuss a novel in its, you know, breadth and depth and everything that it offers. And maybe in that case, I can get a little carried away and reveal some things that might be considered spoilery. But certainly it, you have to be cognizant of the plot and, and not giving away too much, I think, when when reviewing a book because you don't want anyone watching to feel that they've been robbed of the experience of that novel, right? So I do think it's important to be cognizant of not revealing too much of the plot when, when reviewing a book and mostly focusing on the positive attributes or negative attributes of a book and why someone should read it or should not read it along with providing a concise summary but nothing too uh, revealing. So I guess it's important to be aware of of what someone else might consider a spoiler because certainly you don't want anyone watching your video to feel deprived of the experience of some book because you've given away too much in your review. That would be unfortunate. So I try to keep that in mind but like I said most of the books I read are not really vulnerable to um, being spoiled in the same way that a lot of other genres would be. So I don't think I feel so limited when reviewing novels um, because of spoilers. And I hope this, uh, this was like a really short video. Uh, it's a very short tag, but those are the questions. And then the last one is basically shouting out other booktubers. So I'm going to shout out AJ from AJ Dunn Reads and Writes. He is um, awesome and we do share a lot of the same reading tastes so that's that's very cool. He likes a lot of literary fiction as well. I also love Alex from What Page Are You On? He has great reviews, great videos, like just great content all around. His channel is amazing. Claire from Claire Reads Books. I'm sure all of you know her if you're watching my channel, so I won't go on too much about her, but she has phenomenal reviews and I think I did, is that three or four? So I need two more. Okay, um, I will also shout out Rebecca from Rebecca Eats Books because uh, she has pretty interesting taste and I like her videos and her style. It's more casual and it's entertaining and fun to watch. And then the last person I will shout out is Alex from Big Al Books because she has such a wide uh, scope when it comes to novels. She just, I feel like she knows all of the books of every genre that has ever, have ever been written and it amazes me just her, you know, the breadth of novels that she reads and the amount of novels that she reads. It's just like, I don't know how she does it, but she does it. So if you haven't checked out her channel, that's a good one as well. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.